Hello, my name is Rainer Hanekamp. This is NG News with the latest updates from the Angular community every week. The NGBE, the Belgian Angular conference, took place and the recordings are available on YouTube. The keynote was done by Minko Getchev, Angular product lead, and he highlighted that one of the main successful measures was that the Angular team had to learn to say no when it comes to certain features. Or the way how Minko put it, Boundaries are more about honoring our own limits so that we can make sure we provide the love that others deserve. Because if we keep being bloated and unfocused and we keep delivering everything, we may end up delivering nothing. The talks were of high quality and covered a wide range of topics. Accessibility, performance, architecture, TypeScript, and even how to create music. Another event, the NG Klüven, a mini conference in Vienna also happened and the recording of the live stream along the panel discussion is also available on YouTube. From the Angular team, there have been Alex Rickabo, who gave a talk on modern change detection, and Mathieu Riegler. Mathieu demonstrated single-based Angular development without life cycle hooks, making Angular easier to learn, especially for newcomers. The final Q&A session for this year with Mark and Jeremy also took place Highlights were that Jeremy explained that there are plans for an HTTP resource which will work without RxJS and it will probably also be accompanied by an RxJS-less interceptor. Jeremy also touched a little bit upon the current discussion about a new authoring format and he highlighted one of the downsides when it comes to classes, namely the so-called dead zone. And that is one of the kind of like the trade-offs you make with using classes as the like authoring structure and the like the construct for Angular components is that you have this uh, this dead zone between the constructor and on init when those input values can be set. Alex Rickabo, the Angular framework lead, posted on Reddit if he would have to start to write an Angular application right now then he would use the Rx resource, despite its current status, which is experimental. That's quite an endorsement. Finally, there seems to be a resurrection of NGRX Translate. NGRX Translate used to be the main primary translation internationalization tool in the early days of Angular. In the last few years, though, the maintenance was not so good as it could be. But since September, Andreas Löw has been actively maintaining it ensuring compatibility with the latest Angular versions and keeping it in shape. And that's it. Wishing you a nice weekend. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.